To be honest, I know Ace King's a strong hand, but I just want folds. Like I've just had too many runs at the moment where I've got close to the final table. Just gone out and uh, yeah, I'd rather just not be flipping here. Oh no, he calls. No, oh no. Okay, this is board I might be tempted to raise, although I'd probably rather raise holding a heart, I think. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously betting out this turn now when, when we've got, you know, open ender here. Yeah, okay, he does just fold. Quite likely I might see, you know, one of these stacks shove here. Hmm. Okay, this guy opens, but I, I think the only play here with nines from the small blind is shove, really. Even against, you know, if this guy has been tighter, but I, I think this guy's a reg anyway. But yeah, our position, I think it's, you know, it's the only play we can do here. He hasn't folded yet, which makes me think I'm probably going to sit. Okay, no, he does just fold. Tank folds for some reason. Okay, I'm going to raise this one up to 5.5 big blinds. Possibly induced, you know, just to shove from like a, an ace queen off here or something. If he shoves and we call this off, like this would be such a crucial pot to win. Like it would put us on, oh, what a flop. I mean, there's nothing we can be scared of here. Twos, threes, you know, you're going to see a lot of folds pre-flop. I mean, and like, unless he's trapping with aces, like we, we just always have, like this is just the nuts on this board basically. So I can just bet small. There's literally nothing i need to protect against here yeah i think just going relatively small again works well here sets us up for a really nice river jam okay and he does just fold in the end so yeah good decent sized pot there Ooh, okay, potential hand here. I hadn't really been commentating on this hand because I didn't really think it was going to turn into much, but we hit two pair on the river, and I guess I guess I just shove now. Okay, he just folds. Okay, so with these stack sizes, I'm just going to limp uh, cool with the 9-8. The okay, really good flop. Can check this over. I think I'll just bet one big blind. He decides to raise this one. I feel like our kick is probably not strong enough to re-raise this. Okay, I'm not quite sure why my game has frozen. So I think I'm just gonna call. Okay, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like a bad card. Like you expect more of his raises to come from seven, six, seven, eights. Okay, so he checks a turn, that's kind of good. Question is, do I go for a value bet now or do I just check this one? I think I'm targeting sort of a six here, in which case I think I just go for like a really small bet. Okay, I think we're probably, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, probably ahead here when he just calls. Eight, seven, like, as I said, that's that's the sort of hand I expected to be, uh, to be raising when I bet on the flop there. With this open here, I think anything above four I shove, but I think I can actually just call here with fours. Thing is, that's kind of just like a dodgy one because I mean, obviously I'm a little bit capped here. I think what I'm gonna do here is actually just click this one back. Like this might just scare him off. Like he could think, or oh, I'm just trapping with aces or, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping he just folds here, but if he shoves, then I mean, it will just, yes, we got it through. Okay, that turned out perfectly in the end. I think ace nine suited is actually potentially strong enough to shove here, but against this guy, I'm just gonna flat this one for sure. Let's hope to have a good flop here. Okay, couldn't be a worse flop to be honest. <laughs> Come on, just check this one. Give us a free turn card, please. Yeah, I mean, I, I think just checking this one looks good. Okay, that's potentially a good turn card. Although, you know, I don't feel too comfortable just without having, you know, the nine kicker, no spades here. Question is, do I just check this one? Hope we don't get, you know, a spade river. I, I think I'm gonna bet now because when he checks, I would think he would start betting with a lot of his aces here. I think so. I'm going to start to bet now. Okay, I was going to say hoping just to see folds, 
but I actually don't mind the big blind just calling here. Thing is, he can definitely have some calls with like five, six here. This might seem a little nitty checking this one back, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with a check back. Like there's quite a few two pairs he can have here. 10, three. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if he's calling river bets there. Okay, so usually I think I would trap this one. But I, I think with the situation here, I'm just gonna raise up to be honest with the aces. And the fact I'm just three bet into six big blinds rather than just shoving this one might, you know, induce an ace five suited uh, ace. Uh, oh, he shoved. Okay. I know something's gonna go wrong here. This is just massive. Like this is chip lead ace king, come on. Oh, let's go. Come on, that's huge. We're gonna be second in chips now. Wow. Finally, we've got a run going on. It's been, uh, it's been a tough WSOP, I have to say. Uh, although I don't wanna to speak too soon. Like, I wanna to get to this final table first. Okay, we're picking up some really nice hands here. Get a small blind call again. Really good flop. You know, he's very capped in these spots. The only things we can sort of be a bit worried about is, uh, you know, fours and sevens. Okay, I think some of his clubs might be raising there though. I'm going to continue to bet, but just go for like a half pot here. If he decides to like raise, then I think I would just fold because I, I, I just don't think he's going too wild here with any bluffs on this board. But I, I think it's fine to keep betting. Okay, he does call. I think this would probably be a bit too thin going for another bet here. It, it, I mean, I don't think it would be too thin to be fair, but he's gonna have some calls with, you know, King Jack, King Queen. I, I think I'm just gonna play safe, go for the check here. Tens, okay, that's really good. We're starting to develop a bit of a chip lead here. Finally, I'm starting to pick up a run, I hope. Okay, ace jack here. We we really don't mind what happens here, to be honest. Like the only stack I don't want to be engaging with with ace jack is, okay, this guy shoves. I mean, I'm obviously just shoving this one. He's going to be shoving worse with uh, with seven big blinds, of course. The only reason I would not shove this is obviously if if this guy got in on the action. But yeah, I mean, we just have like a fairly standard shove here. Even if this guy had like ace queen, I don't even know if he'd call if he had like ace queen off. Yeah, just gotta obviously hope, um, hope he shoved like, I mean, he's gonna be shoving worse. So we're in pretty good shape here. And I believe we'll probably still be chip leader even if I lost this part actually. Queens, wow. Okay, I mean, didn't expect to be in that sort of shape. That's uh, it's an annoying one. I mean, I, I guess just off seven big blinds, like shove is the play there, but yeah, I, I didn't expect to be uh, up against queens, I have to say. Okay, here we go, if possible we get some action here. Ace king suited, I might three bet smaller, but ace king off a shove is just, like the right play here. To be honest, I know Ace King's a strong hand, but I just want folds. Like I've just had too many runs at the moment where I've got close to the final table. Just gone out and uh yeah, I'd rather just not be be flipping here. Oh no he calls. No oh no. Hold. Please Please don't do this to me on the river. Oh my God. I can't even tell you how much of a relief it is. Oh, thank God. It's just the fact that this last month I've been putting so much work in and it's just become really tiring with how I've run. And so to win such an important flip there just yeah, I think right on the, the final table bubble, if I shove, it means he has to fold all, you know, his, his middling aces, whereas he can just shove those. Okay, I don't like the fact that he hasn't folded yet. <laughs> I don't want to look, because I mean, 15 big blinds, we're still on a decent stack, but it obviously would have been, um, 
yeah, a bit of a chunk to, to lose if, if he was to call that and, and have something strong. Wow, I'm really starting to pick up some hands on the uh, on the bubble here. This is actually good. I kind of want the bubble to go on as long as you can when you're chip leader because there's spots where everyone plays really tight on like the final table bubble. So if you are like chip leader, it can be very profitable to uh, to build up your stack. Okay, we get it through with the jacks and also just looking at the other table now and I think one of the shorter stacks is about to bust so it looks as though we have made the final table yeah we have good stuff okay we see an all in here okay that's good as long as there's no eight now okay get a pay jump which is pretty good and having it coming from the uh one of the other chip leaders is, is pretty good because rather just have like, you know, one other guy on a lot of chips and the rest where you can sort of continue to bully them than, than some of the shorter stacks doubling up and everyone's starting to get more chips, if you get what I mean. Okay, we've got a shove from short stack here. Oh, and another shove here. So potential pay jump. And he shoves as well. God, this is really strong here. We could see a double knockout here. That would be, that would actually be perfect. Jeez. Ace King, King Queen, Ace. Wow. Oh, that's really. Uh, oh, he's got, he's got additional outs now. Oh, he hits it. Oh no, I thought that was a, thought that was a spade then. Wow, that's massive double knockout there. That's huge. So what are we up to now? Up to like thirty-four thousand. Jeez, that's huge. And now we've got Ace King. Let's go. This final table is off to a uh, pretty electric start. I guess I just call here with the King Jack because when there's no other sort of short stacks, can't really put a lot of ICM pressure on him by shoving because he kind of needs to double up really. Okay, he does check back. I guess I will bet here. I'm hoping just to put some pressure on like a, an ace high here, really. Like this bet isn't pushing off anything other than a net. Like, I mean, he may look me up with an ace, but yeah, we get it through. Good stuff. Good flop. Just gonna check there. You know, I can just allow him to sort of catch up with something here. I mean, it's certainly not the worst turn card. I think I will start to bet, get called by, you know, if he's got any sort of draws here. I think I can still value bet this river card. Like he can have some weaker tens. He can definitely have a hand like eight, nine, which might look me up. Okay, he does just fold there. This guy has just been so aggressive though, which is annoying. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping we just get folds here. Oh, oh, that is perfect though. I mean, we've literally just got the nuts here. Just got to avoid spades. That is an absolute dream. This guy is just so aggressive. So I just think like the perfect way to play this is just check calling. The question is, do I bet this one or not? But just because of how aggressive this guy is, I'm actually gonna trap here. Oh, you just blast it off just like that. Oh my God, that is huge. That's what I'm saying. Like this guy is just like, crazy that just go in for that trap there like that was literally just the perfect way to play that against this guy and that's why you've just always got to take into account who you're playing because this guy has just been mental just going absolutely crazy with hands so checking that river and he just goes for a massive shove there when i'm just holding the absolute nuts like that was just perfect Okay, just went for a call here with a seven. I'm gonna be three betting this quite a lot though. He does just check back. I'm gonna to start to bet now actually. So he does call that turn. I honestly think I can still go for value here actually. Like I think he might just be, you know, looking me up with, with an ace high or something here possibly. Okay, he does call. Ace jack, yes. That's what I'm saying. Like that was definitely a spot where I can still go for value there. Oh. We see an all-in, sevens versus ace-king. To be fair, I actually wouldn't mind if ace-king wins this. Be okay, it doesn't, but I was going to say, because this guy is uh, 
obviously a bit of an idiot, but we get a pay jump up to 60,000 now, I think it is. So down to the final four. Actually, what was I talking about saying I wouldn't mind if the ace king win? I meant I do want the sevens to win, actually, and it did. Open ace king, hope to see a shove, obviously, from small blind here. Okay, he just calls, really good flop. Just folds to the, the flop bet though, unfortunately. Wow, what a flop for the queen nine. And the thing is, because I can just put so much pressure on, and this guy, you know, there's less ICM in play now that there's less other shorter stacks. So this guy might just call me down looser here. Uh, unfortunately, folds. Wouldn't surprise me if this guy just spazzes out and, oh, okay. This is a massive spot. Fives, oh, please hold this. I mean, get there, sorry. Man, that's so annoying. Oh, I, I just knew this guy was just gonna win that, obviously. Okay, here we go. This guy literally, I mean, he's obviously an idiot, but he did shove this in like really quick. So I'm hoping this is something strong. Oh, it is, kings. Oh, don't put an ace out there. Oh. Oh my God. That's not what I wanted to see. Ah, oh, yuck. Wow, he bets, and this guy shoves. Cool. Ace-9 versus... Oh. Damn. Oh, come on, give us a diamond. That will be brutal for him, but I really want to see a diamond here. <laughs> oh, that is a brutal run out. This guy is just... Oh, he's so bad as well, and he's just running like a god, but... Okay. We'll, we'll definitely take that, though. Up to 80k now, I think. Oh, he shoves and calls. Just queen jack versus king three. Come on, hold. Oof. Okay, come on. Just hold. And we get a 100k score here. Oh! Oh, that's annoying. River as well. Ah, damn. I mean, I've just got to shove this one and pray he doesn't have anything. Oh, he calls. Okay, come on, no clubs. There's one out there. Okay, whew. Safe, safe turn card, thank God. Shove and a call, come on. King eight versus... Oh, no. Yes, come on. Don't put a king now, please. And then we get 100k plus score. Don't do it on the river. Yes. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go. Okay, it's safe to say we've uh, we've got quite a lot of work to do here with this um, with this heads up match. I think I'm just going to shove the ace six. Okay, he calls. Ace ten. Wow, could be over in the first hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a short heads up match. Okay, I mean, we'll take it. 100k score, happy with that. Second place, I mean, the Maniac was just on an absolute rampage there. It's just obviously gutting I lost that flip with the Ace King versus Fives because I had such a dominant lead and then he just shoved like 50 big blinds with Fives. But yeah, we secure the 100k score, so I'm happy with second. If you enjoyed this final table, click that subscribe button, really helps the channel. And thanks for watching.